huge, 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 massive game, massive game. You have a way, put this game in the same time as other games. Why, why, why were you not thinking? We're not thinking. Um, this is going to be a very tough game from Barcelona. Now, before I put this out there, um, I was, I did read that Messi is in the squad. He's in the squad, but I don't think he's, he's going to start. Now, I, for the sake of this preview, I'm going to just act as if he's not going to start. But if I was Valverde, don't re risk him. He's been off for, for a while, missed like three three games now. It would be very, very stupid to, to risk him and start him in a game like this and a very intensive game like this, which is um, against Dortmund away from, from home. Um, for me, I think that Dortmund are favourites for this based on them playing at, at home. Um, I think Dortmund have a great rare, rare record at home and the way in which they, they play, the intensity, the kind of men that, 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 they, that they push forward, I think Valverde has to think long and hard how he sets it up, and I think there's a very key player that I feel Barcelona have to start with, which we will pretty much get into. So I think for so for Dortmund, so who are we working with here? So you got your boy Akanji, Hummels, Hakimi Guerrero. They, they, see, these are the guys who are going to really cause Barcelona some, some serious issues. Vitzel, Delaney, Brandt, crucial. Favre, start this dude. He is one of your best players. He's going to be one of your most crucial players. It is very imperative that you start this flipping dude. You must start him. You must start him. You must start him. You must start him. Flipping dude. Um, and of course, Royce, your boy, Nyancho. And we're like, yeah. Um, so yeah, look. For Dortmund, I think their mandate is attack, attack, attack. Throw men forward, throw, throw men forward. And I think by far knowing that, we, I don't have the, the, the messy kid in there. I think he'll even say, you know what, Hakimi, get right, 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 right up in there. Get right up in there. Hook up. So what he wants are for, is, is a scenario like this. Get all up in there, get the scenarios and give um, as many different kinds of distribution channels to Alcatraz as possible. But I think you're going to be seeing a lot of this. Hakimi and Aguero are going to be right up in there. So it's about to the attack and so forth. But that is why Hummels, that's why Dortmund bought Hummels. They bought Hummels for situations like, like this where we have to be risky. We're going to commit men for So we need somebody who is smart to be able to, able to read the game. Obviously, Vitsu and Delaney have to help as well. But Hummels, he is the guy that is tutoring a kanji. He is the um, experienced defender and he's reading on the game. His interceptions, him sweeping those balls away is going to be very, very crucial for Dortmund not to concede, but to maintain their very ultra-offensive approach by, by, by pushing men forward. So, we're looking at um, Barcelona right now. So, Stegen, PK, Longley. You know, I'm not sold on Longley, bro. I'm not sold on Longley. Semedo, he's the best right-back in the world. When Cavajal is on it, Cavajal is the best right-back in the world. Don't talk to me about Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's, he's, he's crap defensively, quality offensively. Joshua Kimmich is good quality, consistent, but he's just not on, on the level of Semedo. But Kimmich is young. Maybe the next two, three, three, four years, he'll probably end up being the best right back in the world. But right now, Semedo is that dude, based on form. Jessica Alba. Is Jessica Alba still quality and relevant if he doesn't have his amigo Lionel, Lionel Messi? He's still good, but I think really Alba is at his best when he walks off Messi, because him and Messi just have that telepathic understanding. So this is now what I was referring to, which is the midfield. Um, so Busquets rolling up in there, De Jong up in there, and I think, you know, Rakitic, I just don't, th what if everyone is fit, I just don't see how Rakitic starts the, these games anymore, which is why Rakitic wants to leave, because De Jong, we know that he is the next dude, and I think they're pretty much cultivating him to be the um, next midfielder, and I think really, if everyone is fit, Arthur is, so I think it's Arthur, De Jong, and Busquets, but even if Arthur was fit, This is going to be Barcelona's most important player in this game. Well, one of the most important players. Away from home, Vidal's tactical fouling and him winning balls and really ensuring that Dortmund don't pass through Barca is going to be vital. Because if Dortmund have their way in that midfield and are able to pass through and bypass this midfield and this midfield doesn't form any kind of resistance um, towards Dortmund, it... <laughs> We, we could see a, a substitution or even a sacrifice. We could see a sacrifice. We could see a sacrifice if these guys don't run up. So Vidal's tackling, his interceptions, and his midfield enforcement is going to be vital if Barcelona want to try and get something from, from this game. 
Griezmann, obviously, Cannibal, obviously. People have said, you know, you know I heard Sergio Roberto was, was mentioned as a guy to, to start, even um, Perez as well. Right with Fatty. You're, you can, you're still protecting him. You're still ushering him in. I don't, it wouldn't make sense to bench him for this game after his display in the last game. If he plays, the game is too quick, it's too fast, it's too intense, he can, he can hardly get, get in this game, which is very likely, you bring him off. But it, would, it does not make any sense when, a, when a, especially a young player is riding on a high and you try and um, bring him off the bench. Nah, 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 nah. That ain't how we roll, we, we roll here, pal. Start him. So I think for Barcelona, you know, their, their strategy has to be, look, Dortmund can be got at. Defensively, they can be shaky. They're going to be ultra-attacking. The counter will, will be on. So that is where I think, as, I, as much as I say, Vidal is going to be one of the most crucial players, Griezmann is going to be one of the crucial players because Griezmann is, Griezmann is one of those players you want on the counter-attack. As much as I say Griezmann is overrated, I don't think he's world-class and everything, one of, if I could pick one player who I want on a counter-attack, things are, are fast moving, it's a 3-3, three and three, I don't need a player on the ball to make the right, a, the right decision, it's Griezmann. Because Griezmann has that thing of he always makes the right football decision, the right pass, a through ball, ball to feet, he always makes that right decision on the counter. So Griezmann picking up the ball and him picking up the ball and running is going to be very important. So the runs of Cannibal, Fatsy, even the overlap of a Sesemedo and even Alba making a run in them because there, there, there's no harm in, in making that ball in there is going to be very crucial. And I think if Barcelona are going to score, it's going to come from the distribution, the ball distribution of Griezmann and Griezmann picking up the, the, the ball up, up in attack. Obviously, combinations of Fati and Cannibal can roll in through there, but Barcelona are not going to have a stage where Dortmund are sitting back and have men behind the ball. Barcelona will always be having the ball in a situation where Dortmund are coming in and pressing for them. So, De Jong and Vidal or Busquets, them finding that ball to beat up the press to Griezmann, to Fati, Getting the ball to Albert, to Semedo is going to be important. So, for Dortmund, they're going to attack. And they just, like, you just have to say that they're, attack. they're not going to set it back. So, Hummels and Akanji have to be very, very aware of the runs that Barcelona make um, and the movements of your boy Cannibal. And Hakimi and Guerra are going to have a very, very tricky game. Because Alba and Samedo can provide attacking threats. This is the Aspilicueta state of mind. Okay, we're not in an Aspilicueta state of mind who offers zilch going, going forward. Samedo and Alba can get something, especially Alba. So, most definitely for um, Guerrero, who's on Alba's side. Because Guerrero, that's the thing, Guerrero is great going forward. And I think Guerrero is going to cause Barcelona some serious issues. In the, runs, in the runs that he makes and his combinations with your boy Sancho. But Guerrero must also be very wary that if you lose the ball in key situations, you have to have to come back and Akanji will have to help try to support him. So maybe it's a case where Hummels, it may be better for Hummels to even be at, on, on this side and try to help support Guerrero as well because I think Alba is a greater offensive threat than your boy Samedo. But for Dortmund, it's all about... I think Brandt is going to be important. I think giving Brandt the ball... And using him as a points man to try and thread passes through to a Royce, a Sancho, and so forth is going to be key. Because remember, Barcelona is a defensive side. Not really a defensive side. So how Barcelona now cope with an intensive dominant, it will to be seen. We all know what happened at Anfield. We all know what happened at Anfield. So I think for Lucien Favre, he's going to say to Sancho that Sancho, look your man up and dribble. Beat your man. Look to beat your man. Look to get into space outside or in there. And, and, and for Ruiz, so I think for Ruiz and for Brands is you're our pointsman and our playmakers. Look for Alcacer, look for Hakimi, look for, 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 for Guerrero. So I am very interested to, to see how effective Guerrero and Hakimi are. I'm very interested to see how much damage Sancho can do and how Barcelona cope with, with what San, Sancho does. So, um, and, but also the midfield battle is going to be very key as well because for Delaney and Witzel, they're going to be pressed very hard by um, 
De Jong, uh, Vidal, and Busquets as well. Busquets is going to have a very important role. I always said Busquets, homeboys is getting old. And if Dortmund can pinpoint Busquets and expose him as he was exposed at Anfield because he doesn't have the legs, I think it's going to be very huge. So, taking all, all things into account, man, um, no Messi. I think Dortmund take this 3-2. I think Dortmund take this game 3-2. I think playing at home, playing at, at the crib, I think Dortmund take this game 3-2. Remember, guys, smash the like button. Hit the like button. Like the vid. Share the vid. Remember to subscribe. Remember to become a patron and join me as well for the live chats that will be happening on Tuesday with your boy Ford. Peace out. Stay true. Stay real. Peace. Support your boy HH and become a patron. Click in the description box below and gain extra content based on the tier of patronage you acquire. Click on the description box below to learn more. Thanks for your support. Peace out.